I'm really trying my best to stay away from content like this. I'm really trying my possible best to stay away from China-Africa relationship content. But it seems that anytime something like this happens, everybody keeps on tagging me that, hey, what am I? You need to speak about this. But I get into trouble anytime I talk about Africa and China relationship. Because I stand by the truth and nothing else. Whenever I talk about Africa-China relationship, people threaten me. People go as far as threaten to kill me whenever they see me in their various countries. I love Africa with all my heart. And when I see things like this happening on the continent, it makes me so sad. Anytime I talk about Africa-China relationship, it's unedited. It's unfiltered. Everything that I'm saying is not like a planned thing. I just come in here on my camera and start speaking. You all know what just happened in Ghana. It's not new. About a Chinese man being installed as what? A chief in a town in Ghana called Kou. I know people are tagging me on Twitter calling me hypocrite because it's happening in my country and I don't want to speak about it. I just wanted to stay away because it feels so sad to see that Africans don't care about their own people. When I say Africans, Africans in power, Africans in position on the continent don't care about its people. I'm going to continue saying this. When you have people in power who don't care about its people, it's the people of the continent that suffers. This is the problem with the Africa-China relationship. I've seen a lot of people talking about this whole thing about a Chinese man and stool that's a chief and all of them are blaming China, 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 China. Why will you blame China? You have to blame your own patriotic leaders in position. I mean, people call them leaders, but I will never call them leaders. I call them investors. Own patriotic investors that we have in power in Africa. I really hate politics. I really don't want to, I mean, have anything to do with politics. But I feel so sad to see what is happening on the continent. A Chinese man was installed as a chief. It's called Nkoswahini. Nkoswahini means a development chief. And since it's happening in Ghana, since I don't want people to say that, oh, you just came out to say whatever you want to say, I decided to travel to the town that the Chinese man was installed. I was there. I tried to get a meeting, an interview with the chief himself. I spoke to him even though he was there, but he told me that he's in Accra. Knowing that I traveled all the way from Accra to Eastern region, which is almost three, away, three hours away from Accra, I got there and he told me that he's in Accra. So which means that he won't be able to grant the interview with me. I asked, is it possible to find that Chinese man that was also installed in here? They said, no. So I had to do my own way. I was at the palace myself. I had to do it my own way. I met the people living in the town, and this is what they have to say. To my opinion, I mean, when say any business on any year in Tina, what was in San Coso Henry? Because there are a lot of people in Abitifin here who bet me, you bet me, and ya, and ya, Sandy Panama, Edna C. San Coso on a Heneno. And to me, me, who be papa be a woman, Tia, Sanyan is a personal selfish interest in her. I call on yes, I didn't know, you know. No, so uh, 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 um, it's like Obia, Obit me up, Wama, and Coswa, and Puntu, a Coswa, Cronimo, a hand. Swaho, Obia, or can't you tinibom? You see, Obuama, and Yuma, a youth nebo, Cronomo, a Benya, a Jumaye, um, the end, the Cronomo, Obuama, a Bacronimo. And I'm moving to Chinese name number to me about what? Unim Unim and Penny Fuone, I go cut down my work room on bet me a decided brain or bet. And I make a Mimi Huni say any personal business. I want to 
around no i found out the omutu tra in driana a war a chrome and those are the people that are doing that yeah and then i'm trying to a business on any year Oh, we dislike it. Yeah, my main can be being true. Okay. Even Krumuha, eh? Um, as a young guy, I mean, okay, say, I mean, okay, say, um, my yes, come, a person be ye baby. Hmm, they can't hear me. Oh, yeah, 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 and obi a o fi so betimi aye bibi e o ko no mu no asase a wo de be ye o be nya e de aye mpunto no kura no masa e bo e beto amana no hmm and e very bad e very bad obi aye ni mi ba bia no yetimi asin ko so hine me ba o e abiti fini anase ko ni ba bi ne ko wo na na e fe bibi half cars why half cars ana o nya half cars we don't know him from anywhere. No, what's he know? Because why he? Eh, very bad. And he may cause you to walk away from Very bad. After speaking with this guy, I had to go look for food because I was so hungry. And I met two YouTube subscribers of mine. And this guy told me that he's a Pan Africanist. And so I just asked him, if you're a Pan Africanist, what do you think about what is going on in your town? And this is what he has to say. Yeah, to me it's not the best. Uh, to me it's not the best. But maybe they are looking at the financial interest or whatever. So it, it, it's like they're doing business with the Chinese yeah, yeah, They yeah, wanted to give him a post that yeah. would bring them money. Yeah. Yeah. But don't you think that is a selfish interest? It's all right. Yeah, it's not the best. It's not, it's not actually the best. But in in our histories, in various traditional setups, yeah. it's been happening. Wow. Yeah, this is not the first time. Okay. And people who might not even come from the area okay. are given certain positions with a notion of getting something good from them. But with this Chinese and then these foreigners, okay, we may think we'll be thinking that we are having advantage of them. But in the end, what they will get will be more than what we are going to get from them. Wow. That's the problem. Wow. That's, uh, uh, this guy watched my videos. That's why he's so comfortable telling me what he wants to say. But I'll still not show his face because I don't want him to get into trouble. Yeah. So if it's not about selfish interest or selfish gains, why would you make a foreigner a chief on a foreign land? And they said this guy is going to bring development. I asked the people of the town, is there any development that this guy brought that I can even talk about it? They said no. He's just a business partner of the chief. And you know the kind of business that they're doing? They're cutting down trees in the village. Like when I went there, oh my goodness, it's so sad to see trucks loading timbers out of the village. I have proofs, man. I was there, which is so sad. And these are the people that is supposed to protect the land and the people of that particular town. It's just a simple logic because if a Chinese man lands in the country, the only place that he knows is Kotoka International Airport. And I will come and hold his hand and will tell him that, hey, I have timber here, I have gold in here, I have diamond in here, I have oil in here. So come and let me show you just because of our selfish interest. When you have mindsets like this, how will Africa move forward? Africa needs patriotic leaders. I know that there will be Africans that will be defending that, oh, it's just a development chief, it's just a development chief. Hey, something like this can never, ever happen in China. Yo, you know that if you live in China, I have lived in China for six years, you can't even buy a property in your name. Not to talk of buy land in your name. You can't even establish a company in your name without having a Chinese partner. Or are we allowing something like this to happen on our continent? It's sad. So, I hope you guys enjoy this controversial episode from your one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. Don't forget to like, share. Feel free to threaten me in the comment section. I'm used to it. I love you all. Peace out.